Are you having an issue with the Steam Family Sharing feature lately? Sometimes this feature may develop a bug that prevents games in Steam Library owned by other users to stop working for whatever reason. If Steam Family Sharing is not working at this time, you've come to the right place. Keep in mind that only one user can play a game on Steam at a time. If other users are trying to open the same game you're playing, you may lose access depending on your status. If the original game owner will run the game on his or her computer while you're in the middle of the gameplay, the family sharing feature may stop working for you temporarily. This is because each Steam game is only allowed one license that can be used, which means that a shared game cannot be played by two players at the same time. The first thing that you need to do if the Steam Family Sharing Not Working bug happens is disconnect the problematic computer that is unable to access a game from your account. Once the PC prompts the user to ask for authorization from the original owner of the game, the owner can then check his or her email to authorize the machine. Here's how to do that. Open the Steam client and click on your profile name at the upper right. Then, click on account details in order to access the device management page. Scroll down to the bottom and click manage family library sharing under family settings section. Find the computer that is unable to access the family sharing games and click on revoke beside the word authorized. Then, on the problematic computer that has been unauthorized recently, try to play one of the family library sharing games by clicking on borrow. You can request access from this screen. This will trigger Steam to send an authorization request from the original game owner. The original game owner should check his or her email to find the authorization request from Steam. Follow the instructions to authorize the PC by clicking on the blue link. If the Steam Family Sharing is still not working after granting access to the problematic PC, the next solution that you must try is to ensure that the game files of the installed game are intact. Sometimes, the game data of installed games in the Steam library may become outdated, especially if it's been a long time since it's been used online. Fortunately, keeping the game files up to date is easy. All you have to do is to use the Verify tool in Steam. Another way to update corrupted, missing, or damaged game files is by running the System File Checker tool. This is a built-in Windows command tool that can help a user manually tell the system to update detective files and folders. Here's how to do an SFC scan. On the search bar of your Windows desktop, type in CMD and press Run as Administrator to run the CMD as an administrator. Type the command sfc slash scan now and press enter key. Wait for the system to finish checking and updating. Moving the Steam installation folder to another location is the last step that you can do in this situation. Open the task manager by pressing Control shift escape keys and close all Steam processes from there. Open the Steam installation folder at Drive C program files and locate the following files, Steam apps, Steam EXE file and user data. You must copy these files to a different folder, then delete all the files in the Steam directory. Copy the Steam apps, Steam EXE file and user data files back to the Steam directory. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe to know our latest videos in the future.